Welcome back everybody to Apoyo Puzzles and we have a treat today in a David Astor puzzle and you may be looking at the length of the video and thinking surely not. Well, I did actually solve this in advance and uh, I'm going to walk you through my solve path and how I went about it. Um, the story goes here, I've been wanting to do a DA for the channel. Oh, and actually before I go on, let me remind you that if you're wanting to skip all of this waffle at the outset, there will be chapter markers so you can jump straight to the cluing if you want. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to do a DA on the channel and but also not wanting to subject my viewers to 15,000 hours of me try, scratching my head trying to trying to outsmart David Astor. And for those who don't know, David Astor, otherwise known as DA or Don't Attempt uh, on Twitter, is Melbourne's and Australia's kind of most notoriously um, devilish cryptic crossword setter. Appears in The Age and the Sydney Morning Herald on Fridays. Um, so yeah, didn't want to subject you all to that to that uh, to that torture, and so I thought what it, what it'd be best to do is to just solve one in advance and then record a video like this where I go through and show how I did it. Uh, it make for a snappier video, and I am pleased that that's the way I've done it. But I missed a bit of an opportunity because it turns out this puzzle is from three years ago. And by the way, if you're wanting to um, have a go at it yourself, there will be a link in the description. Um, given it's such an old puzzle, I didn't think anyone would have any, any trouble with me um, uh, reproducing it online. Um, I, I had this sitting in, in a pile of papers and had never solved it. And so I thought I'll take this to the cafe this morning while I'm doing, having my coffee and make a start. Um, and it turned out I solved, I solved it in about 30 minutes. And I think that might be the quickest I've ever solved a DA. And I think there's two reasons for this. One is that I think on the whole, it is on the accessible end of the DA spectrum, which let's remember is already a long way out on the, on the spectrum. So it's still hard, um, but it is one of his easier ones. And in addition to that, if you look closely, you'll see that 10 down is this astronomically long answer. I believe it's 28 letters. Uh, and of course, if you can solve that, then you are gifted a whole lot of crossing letters, which really makes a big difference. So um, those things combined got me to the end of the puzzle really quickly, relatively speaking. I think if I'd done it as a live solve, it still would have taken a lot longer than that. It's harder to do live and I'd be waffling on about the, the way I did it. Uh, but um, it might have worked. But I think this is probably going to be a bit more of a digestible format for you all. So uh, I think that's all I need to say. Um, so as I say, description, the, there's a link in the description to this puzzle if you want to try it yourself. And otherwise, I think it's time for me to have a go, well, have a go, to read you through the order of events as I solved it. So I came to one across, first of all, and got that one, excuse me, immediately. A very straightforward wordplay. Um, We've got live for morning light, four letters long. To live is to be, oops, sorry, I'm in the wrong window here. Uh, to live is to be, morning is AM, and light is beam. So that one was straightforward. Then I mucked around until I came to five and two down. Oh yeah, so I looked at two down and realized that it was um, associated with five down. So I had a look and saw down Oh, sorry, uh, not grounded like zeitgeist. And with the A already in place, this one came through. And with the 233, three, I just kind of instinctively got in the air um, without too much trouble. So of course, the zeitgeist is what's going kind of around in the, in the kind of collective culture. Um, and from here, I went to 14 across eventually. Uh, so actually in the beginning, there were quite a few that I looked at and wasn't able to kind of immediately solve. Uh, expunging even hearsay, uh, yes. And just be with me one second. Sorry about that, uh, just getting things set up here. Uh, so exposing even hearsay, yes, for seven letters. And so even hearsay is the even letters of that word. So E, R, and A. Once I had that, I thought maybe erasing, but then I couldn't figure why sing would mean yes. Then I realized that actually sure means yes and erasure is synonymous effectively with erasing um, and that means expunging. So uh, from here we went to uh, 10 down. Okay. 
Uh, now, did I actually go? Oh, yes. Well, there's a bit of a, a, a workaround here. So I, I played around for a bit and I was on 12. So the, the order of events was I didn't solve 12, but I had a suspicion that this cell was an X. Uh, so 12 across is sticks to funny business if nothing backfires. And I thought, well, funny business is uh, sex. And I thought if you put that backwards, you might be looking at a word that ends in S E or X E S. And before processing the rest of that clue, I thought, well, this X here should be useful for 10 down if it's correct. And so I came to 10 down and realized, oh, this is this epic long clue. Uh, vivid details neither here nor there. This is a really, um, a really beautiful clue and a really helpful one as well. And the X, so the first word is three letters and ends in X. So there's not a lot of options available to you. And it kind of just rippled into my consciousness fairly intuitively that this was going to be, before I even realized what the wordplay was doing, um, six of one, half a, uh, dozen of the other. Okay, so, um, Neither here nor there is the definition, six of one, half a dozen of the other. And how do we get vivid details into that? Well, if we detail the word vivid, we take the tail off it, we get VI, VI. And cryptic uh, enthusiasts will, will recognize that VI is often uh, talking about um, Roman numerals. Normally you'll have the word six in the clue and it means to put VI in the answer. In this case, we've got VIVI, which is six and six. And so that is, of course, six of one and half a dozen of the other. So that's a fabulous clue and really helpful in the overall solve. Um, so once I had 10 down, I went back to 12 across, having effectively confirmed this was probably going to be XES. And so I recognized it was a it was backfiring, so things were going backwards, sex is going to go backwards. I thought, what if if went backwards in there as well? And then from there, I got this must be a fixes for sticks, and then had the question of what does where does the AF come from? And I like this one. Um, I, th I think I've seen DA do this before. Nothing is there to represent the uh, the term FA, uh, which I won't enumerate. Um, but sweet FA is um, is the idea there. And that's going backwards as well. So the whole thing goes backwards to give you affixes, which means sticks. Uh, that's a beautiful clue. Um, now, nine across was my next one, I believe. Prudent Spooner's cut box. Right, so uh, the answer to this one is, or do I put the answer in or do I explain it first? Um, I'll pop the answer in. The answer was foresight. Uh, and it's a Spoonerism. So Spoonerism are good in the sense that you can know very quickly that it is a Spoonerism clue, uh, but then they rely on you being able to, being able to identify the appropriate um, synonyms for the words following. Uh, in this case, I actually, I think I probably got this more from the definition of prudence. I just saw the letters I had in place and thought foresight looks like it would fit. And then if you Spoonerize that, you get sore fight. And uh, to cut is to saw and to box is to fight. Um, so, and you know, it's a nice misdirection in terms of the, the um, parts of speech there. So the word box in the surface reading is a noun, uh, but in the interpretation of the clue, you need to understand it as the verb to box. Uh, so nine across. So now we've got four down, came into our sites. And this took me a little while. I'd, I'd looked at this previously and kind of knew where we were going with the clue, but couldn't quite put it together. Um, our answer is Angus beef. Uh, so what I think kind of got me there, got me going definitely in the, in the right direction eventually was this final EEF. So I saw a rising cost and I knew there was an F at the end. So I thought cost and fee might be synonymous. And since we were talking about burgers, then that kind of gave itself to beef. And then we've got um, Angus at the beginning. So uh, to bother, uh, let me just get this now. Funny why because bother involving salt and sodium. Um, yeah, so the you got fee is the cost. To bother is to bug b u g, which is involving salt. S is stands for salt on the on the salt shaker, uh, and then sodium is another um, salty reference, uh, which is N A on the periodic table. So all of that 
popped in the clue backwards gives us our Angus beef, which is a fancy burger. Uh, that was four down. So I then went to 13 down. I didn't go straight there probably, but I eventually found my way there. Uh, this Z was, was very useful. I think I might have, no, it might be out of order here, because I think when I got this Z, I started thinking seriously about this clue. Um, preserves audio releases by Radiohead Inside Remix. And our answer is freeze dries. Uh, so uh, releases is freeze with an S on the end, but the audio word is telling us that we need to say that, uh, say it out loud and spell it differently. So freeze could be F-R-E-E-S or it could be F-R-E-E-Z-E. -E. Having the Z there got me the freeze and then the dries wrote itself. Uh, and then if we look at the wordplay for dries, we've got, it's quite cunning this actually. Radiohead is the letter R, so okay, nothing complicated inside remix and so normally you think that's putting r inside a word for remix but actually we're putting the word r in a remix of the word side so in side remix so remix of side is dis r inside of that so uh, lovely clue uh, 13 down at 19 across was next this looks like some useful letters and my answer oh yeah this was a really easy clue so just get, especially having the letters in place, but um, noodle dish and three, four, you kind of get a good sense of where you might be going. And so with the D there, I got the answer straight from the definition of pad Thai. Um, your digs are where you live, so that's a pad. Uh, a, a two couple is to tie, a couple things together. Uh, loudly, another homophone indicator, so we spell tie differently to the way it would be spelled uh, in the sense of couple and that gives us a noodle dish. 19 down was next, uh, and our answer here. So this is a needle game, question uh, mark, and the answer is poker. Uh, a needle is something that pokes, and a game, of course, is poker. The question mark, you might wonder why that's there. I think that's because, strictly speaking, the word poker is not synonymous with needle. That's not another word for a needle. It's more, there's a little play going on of a needle is a thing that pokes and therefore it's a poker. Uh, so I think that's why the question mark was there. I think this led me on to 22 because it's so, it's such an <laughs> unusual mask and I think it, it, I knew the answer before I even looked at the clue. as krill for 22 across. Whales prey are indeed krill heading for refuge within ice. I don't know if I actually, oh yeah, I did process this. Um, so the heading, word, heading letter of refuge is R and we put it inside kill, and to kill someone is to, or to kill, to kill something is to ice it. I'm not sure if there's a very specific um, usage of that, of that, but I've seen that used as, as a synonym. So, um, so there we go. Uh, now that was 22, and we went to 20 down with an I. I believe I this was irate. Another straightforward clue. One is I. Judge is to rate and um, being teed off is being irate. So another another misdirection there, thinking in terms of golf, but having to finally resolve this in another sense. Uh, and from 20 down, we went to 15 across, all over the place today. Uh, I love this clue. Uh, in file, it was good having some letters in place and the, the order of the, um, the, the numbering of the clue kind of made it easier in file 11 cryptically and so this is one after another so if you're moving in file you're moving one after another and 11 is literally a one after another one 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 uh, so classic kind of da play that one uh, 16 down it's over here and our answer was adhesions. Uh, so attachments are adhesions. Astonished degenerate removing shirt. So if we take, uh, so shirt is representing the letter T and we remove that from degenerate. So we're left with uh, nine letters. So degenerate minus the T and astonished is acting, acting as an anagram indicator. So we need to rearrange those letters. I'm just thinking now actually, oh, sorry, no. <laughs> Uh, I realized I got the, that the wrong way around. Astonished is the word that we need to remove the t-shirt from. And then degenerate is our anagram indicator. So we rearrange astonished 
without its T, and we get adhesions, which are um, attachments. So that was 16, 25 across. So we had every letter in place now, so you hope that you can solve them at this point or else you're in trouble. Uh, so this one is risk averse. Conservative skiers are worried across valleys opening. Uh, did I actually? Yeah, I think I, well, I can see it now. We, we are going to, so the word worried is acting as an anagram indicator. We want to rearrange the words skiers are. That gives us nine letters. Our answer is 10 letters long. So those nine letters are across valleys opening. So they're gonna, the, the opening letter, letter of valley is a V and skiers are wrapped around that, gives us risk averse, which um, is conservative. Uh, 25, I went to 23. And my answer was, where am I? Oh, sorry, about turn. <laughs> you can see how, how coordinated I am. Um, this one I really liked as well. It's, it's quite a cunning, um, no, there's, a, there's a word for this. I think it's like lift and move or something. Um, so it took me a while. I, I got the answer pretty quick once I had these letters in place and I saw the 180 and was like, okay, so it's about turn. And uh, the way that is passed is that rego needs to be split into two words, RE and GO. So at the beginning of an email, for example, you might say RE and then the topic. And so that is synonymous with about. And a go is a turn. So if you have a go at something, you're having a turn at it. Or it's your go, it's your turn. So I really liked that clue. There were quite a lot of clues in this that, um, that I thought were awesome. Uh, 24 down, which is over here. And this is a, a quick three letter one. Uh, so slimy sounding killer. Took me a second and then I got Uzi. So an Uzi is a weapon and uh, slimy double o z y uzi um, sound that out spell it differently for uzi uh, that was 24 down we went to 17 down and got rarotonga so a pacific island rarotonga and if we just discover so that is take the covers off these words afterwards so arab take those covers off but ra then rot then ong and then just the letter A for Pacific Island Rarotonga. Uh, I think from here, yeah, I, I went to 26 and I actually got this wrong uh, and came back and realized later on because another clue referred to this. So it said Metstar backing a movie. And I thought, okay, it's gonna be, it looks like it's gonna be a word for a Metstar. I wasn't exactly sure what that meant. So um, presumably uh, kind of a, a Broadway, that kind of style reference and it's going to probably be this thing backwards so a i had in place and then a word for movie going backwards and the only word that came to mind was was pick which actually thinking about it afterwards you probably really wouldn't refer to it would you say that i'm going to the picks I'm not sure I saw a pick anyway i put that in thinking okay that's going to be the name of some famous met star and so we'll come back when we realize our error there. You might well have seen it already. Um, so after that one, we came to six down. She knows the ropes in faction and also got in coalition. I solved this one without processing the wordplay at all, just because she knows the ropes um, rung a bell for me, as it were. So um, I'm sure that definition element has been used before. Uh, as a campanologist, someone who rings bells in churches. Uh, and I don't think I processed the word play faction and also got in coalition. Uh, so a faction is a camp and also got, looks like there's an anagram going on. Except there's no D in there. So I maybe also got in. Yeah, camp, uh, yeah, also got in is anagrammed. Coalition is an anagram indicator, I think, for also got in. I think that's what it looks like um, to get your campanologist. So uh, six down and we were really kind of making fast progress towards the finish line. Um, this one, 
I was really stumped on from the get-go. I kept coming back to it thinking it should be gettable. Uh, in the end, I figured it as this, and I'd just never seen that term before. Uh, so confused is um, buffaloed, so it's a verb to buffalo, um, or maybe it's an adjective. I'm not sure if you can buffalo a person, but you can be buffaloed. Um, and a buff is a guru, and a heap is a load, L-O-A-D, on report means uh, this is a homophone indicator, so it's being said out loud and spelt differently. Um, I was struggling with this for a long time because I, I was thinking, you know, what possible I, I, load was the natural word that came to mind as a heap, and it seemed to fit with the D, but I couldn't see how it could be misspelled. <laughs> um, uh, so, because L O E D is obviously quite an unusual um, ending to a word. Um, and if it had been, if I didn't know this, I might have thought it was L O D E, and that might have felt a bit more plausible. But in any case, we got there. Uh, now, after one down, we came to eight down. And this is where I realized my error on 26 across. So, a computer related 26 across. So, I thought, okay, we're, it looks like we're looking, the final answer is going to be an example of a 26 across. And of course, CIPA, I thought it was an actual person, so that wouldn't make sense. Um, and passing the wordplay, I thought, okay, what about A? And I think I might have had to think about this one as well. I'm not sure, but I think maybe I came quickly to the idea of Adele as, um, as potentially an example of somebody that's involved in music. And computer um, is, have I spelled that one? Sorry, A-D-L-E. Um, computer related, so a computer is a DEL, D-E-L-L, -L, and related is another, there's a lot of homophones in this one. Um, again, spelling DEL differently. And of course, Adele is an example, not of a SIPA, but of a diva. And, um, and in 26 across, the movie was vid, which makes more sense. I'm assuming my answers are correct here. I mean, they, they all fit and they make sense with the wordplay. Um, if there are any errors, then I apologize. Um, so after eight down, we came to 11 across. A dull count dropping back. And yeah, so what I before I had a DAL in place, I had thought this might be muted, um, and then of course a DAL didn't wasn't going to fit in there. And when I came to realize, oh, this looks really does look like a DAL, and I couldn't I couldn't see how muted was working anyway. It just seemed like it would mean dull. Um, but then I realized this is actually mat, meaning dull, and to count in the sense of the um, the verb to have importance is to matter. And so we drop the final letter, the back letter off that for mat. 21 across was my next one. Uh, although I think I've missed seven down on my list here, so I don't know when that came into things. So let's see. Um, cutting back brooches verging on deer. I really liked this clue. The answer being snippet. So uh, brooches are pins and uh, deer is pet. Uh, my dear, my pet, that, or my, my pet theory, uh, my, my that pet, you know, pet favorite, etc. Those ideas, uh, and uh, a cutting is a snippet. I may have actually gotten seven down before I got that, and I feel like that P there was quite useful for me. Let's see what seven down was. Uh, yeah, actually, no, maybe I didn't because I was confused by seven down. Uh, I kind of basically thought it was going to be not much, having from from previous looks at the clue, um, but I didn't and I didn't have this in place and I, I didn't know the expression. Uh, but once I, yeah, I probably actually did get snippet and then thought, well, this definitely is not the chop, even though uh, so not much chop, even though I've not heard of that before. Uh, and finally, I came back <laughs> one last time. I'd been to this clue quite a few times. Although I kind of knew that I was going to struggle because I, I figured it was a, a reference to a, a masterpiece in, in art or in, those, in that kind of world. And my knowledge in that space is very poor. Um, and, uh, and I knew it was an anagram, so that's helpful because at least you've got the letters that, that you could put in place. And so I chanced this. Um, that seemed to be that seemed to be likely as a, a way for it to work. And 
then looked that up to make sure that was my final answer and I thought oh, I better check if that's actually a thing and it was. Um, so there we go. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video down to a relatively short length so I'm going to I'm going to abandon my end waffle today and just thank you very much for listening. I hope this was interesting. Uh, I hope I didn't talk through it too quickly or um, or lied over some details that might have been useful uh, but Thanks to David for an amazing puzzle three years later. Um, thank you again for watching. Uh, would love you to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content. And uh, until next time, happy cluing.